Some dams are able to hold millions of tons of water, so when they fail, the water discharge can wreak havoc on communities below. Today, we'll be taking a look at 15 dam failures, how they happened, and the resulting aftermath. Number 15. The Brumadino Dam While many recordings of dam failures have been lost to history, the collapse of Brazil's Brumadino Dam is one of the most well-documented. That's because on January 25th of 2019, the entire incident was caught on video. Likely failing due to structural instability, it sent millions of cubic feet of iron-contaminated water into the valley below, causing a mudslide that not only took out the mine's offices, but several homes and farms nearby. The estimated death toll from the disaster was 270, and soon after, several of the mining company's engineers and executives were arrested for their negligence. Many have since been convicted of various crimes related to the damages. Number 14. The Fundau Dam Unfortunately, the Brumadino Dam is not the only Brazilian dam collapse in recent memory. That's because on November 5th of 2015, a mine filled with iron ore waste in Mariana, Brazil, collapsed in spectacular fashion, causing 43 million cubic meters of mine tailings to pour into the Doce River. It goes without saying that the collapse was an ecological disaster, as the resulting toxic mud flow polluted rivers and beaches for hundreds of kilometers until it reached the Atlantic Ocean. The disaster also had a considerable human toll as the toxic flood killed a total of 19 people. Worst of all, it was later determined that the incident was entirely avoidable, as engineers had warned the company a year before the collapse that immediate repairs were needed to address some serious cracks. However, rather than implement them, the firm chose to simply procrastinate, thus allowing this disaster to occur. As a result, it shouldn't come as a surprise that they have been fined the equivalent of $4.8 billion thus far, and the payouts will likely continue to rise as the company is still facing multiple legal battles in court. Number 13. The Sardoba Dam While Uzbekistan may not be a country that finds itself in the news all too often, it certainly did in 2017, when a dam holding back 922 million cubic meters of water collapsed flowing into both the surrounding Uzbek regions and the neighboring country of Kazakhstan. The incident led to the deaths of six locals and caused millions of dollars in property damages. While the causes behind the collapse are not entirely clear, they likely stem from decades of mismanagement and regional water conflicts in the river basin, as there have been constant disagreements between Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan in regard to controlling the dam. There is also belief that climate change may have also played a role, as many of the water-related numbers that were used in calculating the dam's efficacy can be traced back to Soviet times and are not reflective of today's current water crisis. As a result, a collapse of this dam was seen by many as inevitable. Number 12. The Panchet Dam Filling a dam during monsoon season is generally considered to be a bad idea as the large quantities of rain can easily lead to both overfilling and structural issues. Such was the case with the Panchet Dam in Pune, India. That's because as it was being built, engineers ignored warnings and began to fill it, despite it being monsoon season. This was made worse by the fact that substandard materials were used, as regular concrete blocks made up its walls instead of reinforced cement concrete. As a result, when the water began to hit against the wall, cracks and holes began to form, and this was enough to reach the earthen part of the dam. This softened the earth significantly, and eventually led to a massive collapse on July 12th of 1961 that caused the water to sweep through the region, killing over a thousand people in its wake. As such, this dam disaster still stands as one of the worst in India's history. Number 11. The Kelly Barnes Dam Older dams tend to be a little more dangerous than newer dams, as poor maintenance can cause what was a once usable dam to collapse. Such was the case of the Kelly Barnes Dam, first built in 1899 as a rock dam and significantly modified between 1939 and 1949 to include an earthen dam. This conglomeration had a few design flaws. The worst of these was the fact that there were no filter zones between the two dams, and this was made worse by the fact that it was not regularly maintained over the years. As such, after about 17 centimeters of rainfall, the dam collapsed on November 6th of 1977. The resulting flood killed 39 people and caused the modern equivalent of about $12 million in damages. Number 10. The Malpasset Dam When it comes to creating a dam, location is critical, 
as the massive amounts of water and concrete involved can cause major issues if placed in an unideal spot. And while geological surveys usually allow geographers to find a suitable place to put a dam, the Malpasset Dam certainly was not put in the best of locations. That's because on December 2nd of 1959, the entire structure collapsed, leading to a massive flood that took the lives of 423 people. The dam was built on the Reyren River in the French Riviera back in 1954, and at the time the area was deemed suitable for its construction. However, what the builders failed to realize was that the area was located right underneath a tectonic plate, and thus when they began to use explosives to aid in the construction, they severely damaged the already unstable rock. To make matters worse, they built on top of a nearly impermeable rock known as Nice, and this was problematic because it caused the diagonally flowing water to become trapped underneath the dam, further adding to its instability. As such, cracks began to form years before the collapse, but due to the government neglecting to do anything about it, the dam remained standing until it was far too late to fix it. Number 9. The Coloco Dam Dams hold back a lot of water, and as you might expect, this means that good maintenance is necessary in order for them to stay upright. And while this is common sense to many, the negligence of the owner of the Coloco Dam needlessly led to seven deaths back in May of 2006. The dam had been built several years before, but owner James Fluger did a number of questionable things around this dam before the accident. Most notably, he had engaged in extensive grading around it without obtaining a permit and had likely filled up its emergency spillway. This made the dam extremely vulnerable to collapse, yet despite this, the state of Hawaii had done nothing about it. Unfortunately, this vulnerability turned deadly when heavy rains began to occur around the site. And while the dam lasted a few weeks, on March 14th of 2006, it collapsed, leading to a water wall that was as much as 21 meters tall and 61 meters wide. The resulting flood destroyed several homes and killed seven people. As you might expect, Fluger was blamed for the collapse and wound up accepting a plea deal that put him behind bars for seven months on the charge of reckless endangerment. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Slurry Impoundment Dam Number 3 Coal preparation is a pretty dirty business, and residents in Logan County, West Virginia found this out the hard way when a 500 million liter torrent of black wastewater escaped from the Pitts & Coal Company's Coal Slurry Impoundment Dam Number 3. Occurring on February 26 of 1972, it washed away or demolished over 500 homes, left 4,000 homeless, and took the lives of 125 people. Now, the dam likely collapsed due to the fact that it was very poorly built. This was because rather than hire an engineer, the dam was built using a sketch made on site by Vice President Mr. Steve Desovich. Given that he had no engineering experience, the dam was highly flawed, as it lacked the ability to handle large amounts of surface runoff. Yet despite the fact that deficiencies were documented, almost nothing was done to fix them, and the only real addition that was ever made was a 61 centimeter wide spillway pipe that was largely inadequate. To make matters worse, the company tried to cover up the accident, and due to local officials being sympathetic to the coal industry, they almost got away with it. However, once all was said and done, the Pittston Coal Company ended up paying the modern equivalent of about $355 million in damages. Number seven. The Baldwin Hills Dam Dams are generally not found too close to major cities, but the Baldwin Hills Dam stands apart due to it having been built very close to Los Angeles. Constructed in 1951 to provide water to the south and southwest portions of the city, its location was certainly not ideal, as the soil around it was sandy and prone to erosion. In order to offset this, the builders elected to build an asphalt liner around the dam and the reservoir and had installed a complex underdrain system below in order to deal with excess water. Yet despite these precautions, the dam eventually collapsed on December 14th of 1963. Unlike with many dams on this list, engineers realized the collapse was imminent a few days beforehand, and thus were able to evacuate many of the local residents. Regardless, five people still died in the disaster, and a total of 277 homes were completely destroyed. Now, the blame for the dam's failure is largely attributed to a crack that had occurred in the asphalt liner. This is because the crack allowed water to penetrate and erode the soil beneath it, and this crack likely occurred due to either geological movements near the dam, the injection of pressurized liquid into an oil field near the dam, or heavy equipment used during the construction. 
Regardless, the Baldwin Hills Dam failure stands as one of the worst disasters in Los Angeles' history. Number 6. The Muna Dam Generally speaking, dams collapse due to either human failures or natural disasters. Yet the Muna Dam met its demise through rather unconventional means. Completed in 1913 in northwestern Germany, the dam was an essential power source for the German factories during the First and Second World Wars. And while it went through World War I completely unscathed, in World War II it became the target of Allied bombers during Operation Chastise. Now, this operation was made up of RAF bomber planes equipped with bouncing bombs, which were able to skip over the protective netting placed in the water around the dam. This allowed the bombs to do some major damage, and on May 16th of 1943, they not only blew a 77 meter by 22 meter hole into the Mune Dam, but they caused a flood that killed at least 1,500 people and brought industry in the region to a halt for months. Yet despite the massive disaster, the Muna Dam was repaired by September 23rd of that year and managed to survive the rest of the war without any major incidents. Regardless, both the dam's collapse and the legendary operation that allowed it to happen have gone down in history. Number 5. The Gleno Dam High-quality building materials are a must when building a dam, as any deficiencies can lead to some serious issues down the line. And while this is common knowledge, the builders of the Northern Italian Gleno Dam never got the memo, and it just took 40 days after its 1923 opening date for the entire structure to collapse, leading to the passing of at least 356 people from nearby villages due to the ensuing flood. Upon investigation, it was clear that the collapse of the dam could be blamed almost exclusively on the negligence of the construction workers and designers. Perhaps the most glaring error was that they used substandard cement mortar. This was made worse by the fact that this cement was not given enough time to properly set before the reservoir was filled, thus causing it to become wet and damaged. They also made the poor choice to reinforce the cement not with new materials, but with anti-grenade netting that had been left over from World War I, which was by all accounts unsuitable for the job. Yet perhaps the most disastrous error of them all was the dam's design was completely changed halfway through construction. That's because while the Glen Oak Dam was originally meant to be a gravity dam, the lack of funding meant that after the gravity dam's foundations were built, the plans were changed so that instead it became a multiple arch dam. This caused the two sections of the dam to be poorly joined together, and due to the already inferior design of the multiple arch dam, this made the whole project very flawed. As such, its collapse could have easily been avoided had no corners been cut. Yet due to the fact that any workers complaining about the dam's deficiencies were fired, all the warning signs were simply ignored. Unsurprisingly, it still stands as one of the worst dam disasters in Italian history. Number 4. The Jumadian Dams While many of the dams on this list collapse solely due to human error, sometimes it's Mother Nature that has a role in their ultimate demise. Such was the case with the Zumadian Dam, located in the central Chinese province of Henan. The dams in the system collapsed in 1975, largely thanks to a number of both human and natural factors. Now, the human error behind the dam's collapse began during their construction. Created during China's Great Leap Forward, the system consisted of over a hundred dams and was made with an emphasis on retaining as much water as possible. While this made the dams look much more impressive, and had the adverse effect of making the land prone to flooding. Yet when Chief Engineer Chen Jing tried to warn the Chinese government of this, he was simply booted from his position. To make matters worse, the dams also led to severe deforestation and land degradation around the Zumadian region, putting the site even more at risk. It only took about 15 years after all the dams were completed for disaster to strike. That's because in 1975, a massive storm known as Typhoon Nina rocked the area, and it caused water levels in the dam system to simply become too high for the structure to handle. This led to the collapse of 62 dams, and as a consequence, about 12,000 square kilometers of land being inundated with water. The results were catastrophic, as 30 cities and counties were effectively submerged, affecting about 10.5 million people and killing as many as 240,000 people. Yet rather than admit to their failures, the Chinese government tried to cover up the incident and place practically all the blame on the typhoon. Regardless, despite their excuses, the government officials were ultimately responsible for creating the third deadliest flood of all time. Number 3. The Johnstown Dam Generally speaking, dam building is an activity that is left up to engineers. 
as they're the only ones who really have the expertise necessary to ensure that, well, they don't let out any water. Yet in 1989, a dam collapsed largely thanks to the foolish endeavors of a fishing and hunting club. Now, the Johnstown Dam had been created in 1853 as part of a canal, but was abandoned soon after its construction due to railroads making it redundant. At this point, the dam was in good repair, and upon seeing an opportunity to develop the site, the South Fork Hunting and Fishing Club bought the dam and its reservoir. Consisting of ultra-rich members such as Andrew Carnegie, Henry Frick, and Andrew Mellon, the Hunting and Fishing Club's plan was that the dam could be lowered and a fish screen in the spillway could be installed so that the reservoir could be transformed into a private resort. By 1881, the resort was up and running, but it soon became clear that the new dam was heavily flawed. After all, not only did it often spring leaks, but the fish screen made it impossible to empty the dam in case of emergency. However, when local officials tried to bring this up to the billionaires at the fishing club, they were simply ignored. Now, while the dam held up for a few years, in May of 1889, there were several days of extraordinarily heavy rains. Due to the fact that the fish screen was filled with debris, it could not be opened so the water could be let out. As a result, after a few days, the entire dam collapsed. This caused 20 million tons of debris-filled water to come pouring down to Johnstown. Once all was said and done, over 2,200 people died, and the modern equivalent of about $500 million in property damage occurred. Yet despite the South Fork Hunting and Fishing Club obviously being at fault, its influential members ensured that its owners never got in any trouble for causing the incident. Number 2. The Teton Dam Holes, fissures, and caverns are usually not compatible with dam building, yet the appearance of these didn't stop the builders of the Teton Dam from creating it in 1975. Built on Idaho's Snake Plain River, concerns were raised almost immediately after construction due to the area being seismically active. This seismic activity meant that the rock was very unstable, and as building began it appeared that there were many large fissures and caves in the area where there shouldn't have been any. Yet rather than halt construction, the builders chose to simply fill these holes with grout, and even then they chose to leave several unfilled. Unsurprisingly, this shoddy patch-up work didn't hold up. That's because while being filled up in June of 1976, the entire dam collapsed. This not only led to the nearby towns being flooded with water and largely being destroyed, but to a total of 11 people and 13,000 cattle meeting their demise. Total damage estimates of the disaster have reached the modern equivalent of $1.8 billion. Most experts have attributed the collapse entirely to flaws in the dam's construction. More specifically, it's believed that the seeping of water through unfilled cracks led to erosion that weakened the dam's foundations. With this being made worse by the fact that the dam's emergency spill valves were far too small to let out a meaningful amount of water. When combined with unfavorable geographic factors and inconsistent building practices, the dam had little chance of lasting for too long. As such, the federal government ended up paying out about 3,800 claims. And as you might expect, there hasn't been any attempts to rebuild the dam ever since. Number 1. The Vaillant Dam Holding a world record is a mark of pride for anyone, but the builders of the Vaillant Dam likely focused far more on aesthetics than reality during its construction. You see, the Vaillant Dam once held the record for being the tallest dam in the world, as it stands at an impressive height of 262 meters. Yet despite being an aesthetic marvel, there were many major design flaws in its construction. The most significant was the fact that it's built on the face of a large mountain that is known to be geologically unstable. This was problematic because it made the dam suspect to landslides, and as such the water reservoir below could easily become quite wavy if the landslides were to occur. Yet despite engineers being aware of this threat, they chose to fill the dam with far more water than was deemed safe, and this led to a disaster on October 9th of 1963. That's because it was on this day that a massive landslide spilled into the dam, quickly filling its small emergency reservoir and causing 500 million cubic meters of water to flow over top of the dam in a 250 meter high wave. This wave then crashed into the valley below, leading to the complete destruction of several villages and towns and between 1,900 and 2,500 deaths. Unsurprisingly, the Italian government attempted to cover up the disaster, claiming that the overflow of the dam was an act of God. This explanation was able to gain some traction because the dam itself not only remained intact, but still retained about two-thirds of the water that it had held previously. 
Yet despite these factors, several employees of the state's dam building companies were eventually sentenced for negligence and manslaughter, and compensation was paid out to some of those affected. And while the dam still is standing today, it no longer holds any water behind it, and has since become a tourist attraction. Watch our Waves playlist for more top 15 videos about massive waves. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best wave videos.